our Friday fun activity, we are going to draw a wacky turkey. <laughs> so um, I gave each of you guys a white cardstock in your last pickup. So go ahead and grab your white cardstock. You're going to want to grab a, um, a pencil. And if you want to use a black marker to outline it later, you can, but let's start with pencil just in case you make a mistake and then you can erase it, okay? So go ahead and get your supplies. So just your white cardstock, or if you can, can't find it, just a white piece of paper and a pencil. All right, so let's get started. Our wacky turkey. So we're gonna start actually on the bottom here. We're gonna make his body, okay? So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna make a C shape. So I'm gonna go up, make it pretty, not too, too big, but about that big. So not quite, like maybe a quarter of your page. So this is half of your page here. So about half of that, okay? So this is the body here. So go ahead and do that one. Pause the video if I'm going too fast, okay? And it's a C shape. So if you were to turn it this way, it looks like a C. Okay, the next step is to do his neck. And he's gonna have a nice, if you look at this one, he's gonna have a nice long neck. So this is actually gonna go kind of past half of our page here. So I'm gonna go up. And then another line, and they're gonna be, ooh, squeaky. Pretty parallel, so meaning that they're, they look almost like train tracks, right? They're parallel lines. So there's his neck. Pause the video and do that. And now we are going to do his head. So it's gonna be actually a pretty small head. Not too small. Just a nice circle there. I probably made my head a little too small, but that is okay. All right, now we're gonna do his wacky eyeballs. So we're gonna make one of the eyeballs kind of bigger than the other. And one of them's gonna be more oval. So I'm gonna make an oval eyeball. And then another one's more of a circle. When you're ready for the next step, and if you're not, go ahead and pause the video. That's okay. We're gonna do his beak. And the beak is actually gonna be quite close to his eyeball. So we're gonna do kind of a little bit of a slant line and then two straight lines meeting down. So almost like a triangle, but more of a slant line on top. When you're done with the beak, we're gonna do the little goblet. It's gonna hang off the side here. And it's almost like a tear shape. So you do a point and then you round. It's kind of long, it looks like a tear. And then I get to color in his eyeball. So I wanna make one eyeball here and one eyeball here. And again, you can color these in black later Right now, let's just use pencil, just in case you wanna erase anything. Now, if you're finished with this part, if you're not, go ahead and pause the video. We are going to do the feathers. So we are going to create a line a little bit outside of his neck and we're gonna go all the way up and it's gonna to touch the outside of his cheek. So a little bit outside of his neck and we're just gonna go straight up. Ooh. And then another one on the other side, a little bit outside his neck, and then straight up, and it's just gonna brush his cheek. I do not like that noise. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't either. And then we're gonna create some more lines. So once you have those two, if you don't, go ahead and pause the video and do these two. And then we'll create some more lines here. So I'm gonna make two more lines kind of going out a little bit, so a little bit more at a diagonal. 
So I'm gonna go up maybe two fingers from there. So put two fingers down and then put a dot. And then we're then just gonna go straight up, okay? And if you wanna use a ruler, you can use a ruler to help you if you want to create like a straight, straighter line, that would work. I'm just gonna go straight up. Sorry for the noise. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and do two fingers, put a little dot, and then I'm gonna go straight up. Ooh. Gives me the chills when I hear that noise. And then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna make some more lines for his feathers. So we'll do two more fingers, a little dot there, go straight up. More of a diagonal. So you want them to kind of look like a feather, okay? And then two left fingers over here. Let's put a dot. And then one more on each side. So I'm gonna do two more fingers, put a dot. And then one more over here. Whew, glad that's over. <laughs> All right, so do your feathers. When you're done with your feathers, pause the video if you need to continue to work on your feathers. So you should have, outside of his neck, you should have one, two, three, four lines on the left side of his neck and four lines on the right side of his neck. And they're all going at kind of a diagonal. Okay, so if you are finished with this, then we get to make his hair now. So I'm gonna make some wacky hair and I'm just gonna go like this. Color it in, it's gonna be spiky. But you can make your hair any way that you would like. And then that's it, it's time to color. So I'm gonna color mine. You can use your imagination and color yours however you want. So I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll show you what my final product looks like. All right, here's my final product. Not too bad, right? Okay, so what I would suggest is if you do have a black marker at home, when sh once you're done um, with the pencil part, so doing drawing the picture and you like your um, wacky turkey, and then outline the pencil part with black ink. It kind of makes the image stand out, okay? And then you can do your coloring. So when I did my coloring, I just went back and forth like this, but then I kind of outlined the black part the black lines with the crayon, and it kind of made it stand out a little bit more. Around his face and stuff, I kind of went around it a little bit darker on uh, the black mark part, marker part. All right, and then sign your work, right? I'll do my initials, M, M. <laughs> Happy Turkey Day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this direct-to-draw.